G'day James, it's Bill Hardy here uh, from Hardy's of course, back at uh, Provine in Germany. Um, we spoke a couple of years ago when you were here and as you've probably seen this show has absolutely ballooned since then. It has become you know, the most important wine fair, wine fair in the world to be at. Um, it is just incredibly international, it's spread across something like seven halls and uh, it's just staggering to see the representation. Great to see our Aussies here though, we've got a fantastic Wine of Australia stand. Here we are on the Accolade Wine stand with our Hardy's brand of course. And um, next door we've got our Treasury, our, our great colleagues from Treasury. But the, the Aussies are, as always, making themselves uh, known here. In fact, I believe we've got the, the uh, traditional five o'clock uh, beers at the Wine of Australia stand for all the exhibitors here tomorrow night. So that's going to be lots of fun. But actually another thing I wanted to tell you about James is I've actually just come back from the UK. I was there on Friday and Hardy's have done something a little bit sort of interesting and maybe a little bit controversial in that uh, as many of you may know we, we were the sponsors of Cricket Australia or still are for the next couple of years uh, during the recent Ashes series but believe it or not we've also just become the wine sponsors to the English Cricket Board. Um, so you know we've got a little bit of a foot in both camps. Um, but I did this amazing launch of that new sponsorship at Lords, um, standing alongside Sir Ian Botham, running a, a wine tasting. You know, Mike Gatting actually introducing me, and uh, you know, looking over the ground. It was just oh, really tingling to be there. Absolutely fantastic. So lots of exciting things happening with Hardy's. In fact, that wine I was just showing you, you may have noticed, uh, you know, carries my name. And uh, whilst I know you, you see uh, the William Hardy wines in Australia now, we've been selling these wines over here now for just on two years. In fact, we launched at this event a couple of years ago. And since then, this wine has expanded throughout, uh, throughout Europe, into Asia, and particularly into Southeast Asia in the last year or so. So uh, Hardy's is uh, living up to its reputation of being the number one Australian wine or spirit brand, uh, you know, I think we've improved even on the two million glasses of Hardy's wine that are drunk every day.